Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. I am back from vacation, and that means we are back on the grind on YouTube. And today we're gonna talk about some more reports about Marathon from Bungie. Now in the description, I will link to the previous video where we talk about some of the leaks and rumors. These new, I guess, rumors definitely expand on that, but that video is definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. And if you wanna stay up to date with Marathon, Bungie, Halo, I do all of that stuff. I would appreciate a sub. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers. That's a huge number. And I can't do it without you. I know like 90% of you watch the videos. I could be your third favorite like overall YouTuber at this point. All you have to do is hit sub. Anyways, so this is an article from thegamepost.com. Some of it seems to be kind of a recap. But there's also some more new information. And probably the biggest thing is that a $40 price tag might be the move that Bungie and Sony go to. Now, before everybody starts screaming about Concord, I think there's reasons why doing the $40 price tag for Concord was a bad idea, and that's because it was a brand new IP. Nobody knew anything about it. It's not like it was going to be super successful because of its history or nostalgia or anything like that, so I think that was a silly move. Bungie has Halo under its belt. It has Destiny under its belt. People... I mean, uh, really until recently, it felt like people really trusted Bungie. Now, a lot of the goodwill and stuff seems to be affecting the player base and even the devs, which we'll talk about later on. But I think if they're going to charge $40, there's got to be like some like free to try avenue or like some kind of open beta or something because i don't know if people will just drop 40 dollars off rip it would have to really like blow streamers and stuff away they do talk about some of the feedback from playtesters has been somewhat positive which is not like overwhelming positive which i think is something you would much rather have and apparently some of them some of them said that it was worth the 40 dollar price tag and i think that that's kind of like a disconnect because if you're a playtester, if you're like a streamer, a gamer, a YouTube content creator, your concept of what's worth $40 is going to be different than just the normal player because like that's a tax write-off. You're going to make that money back on streaming and stuff like the first week anyways by tenfold, if not more. So I don't know if that's necessarily something that I would take to heart. They also said that it will be a class-based game and not a shooter, or, or a hero shooter, excuse me. And to me, that's kind of dumb because I feel like the class-based game is just a hero shooter game, but you can't, like, double up on the heroes. You can just, you can, like, be multiple. Like, your group can have multiple of the same classes instead of just, like, one set hero. So it's like a hero shooter with, like, one less step. Two maps are currently playable, which I think is decent if these maps are like massive and huge and diverse you can always add on to them but i believe it's the planet and the marathon ship one of the bullet points is that the core gameplay structure is similar to escape from tarkov but with a bungee twist i don't know what that means in terms of the bungee twist part other than like they're got, they got to make it somehow different than Tarkov and Hunt. And I was hoping that it was more Hunt Showdown instead of Escape from Tarkov personally. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And then morale within Bungie remains low amid recent leadership changes. And that's talking about like Christopher Barrett. That's talking about all the people that have left and been laid off and things like that. The current PR around Bungie and Destiny and even Marathon, like people from the destiny community want that game to fail they want marathon to come out be dead on arrival so that they can be like haha you should have focused on destiny so i don't know how many of that player base you know the percentage is going to go over to marathon so like i said not a ton of new new information but it seems like they were also doing their own investigative journalism to see if there was any new info and the 40 dollars price tag i definitely feel like it was being considered before and maybe this is one of those controlled leak things that we talked about in that previous video to see how people would respond to that. But I just don't know. I, I understand if they do the $40 price tag thing, I feel like the game should be better in terms of like anti-cheat, things like that. Microtransactions should not be anywhere near as aggressive or prevalent throughout the game as if it was or if it was free to play. So yeah. 
That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys around the ring. Peace!